Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is an interest problem. It's a simple interest problem. Let me read to you. What is the amount needed to invest now at 12% simple interest to yield $448.88 in four years? So pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own. All right, it's a simple interest problem, so you're gonna use the simple interest formula. The simple interest formula is I pert. I pert simply means interest, or sorry, I pert is I equals P times R times T. I just remember as I pert. I is the interest. P is the principal, that's the amount that you're investing. R is the rate that it's at. And again, you have to change the percentage to a decimal. And then time is in years. So if it's a month, you have to convert it to years. So you have this yield this amount. This amount right here is your interest. So that goes on this side of the equations. Your principal is the amount needed to invest. You have no clue what that is, so that's your x. Now your rate is given, your rate is 12%, but you have to change that to a decimal. So that would be 0 0.12, 12 hundredths, times time, which is the four years. Now I like to use raised dots for multiplication because sometimes you can get a little confused between the x's, between the x's, x marks of multiplication, and the actual x. So then you just simply solve for x. This you can combine these two. 12 times 4 is 48. 2 times 2, 2 times 4 is 8. And 1 times 4 is 40, so it's 48, but it's 0 0.48. Because the number of decimal places, 1, 2. And don't forget your x. The next thing you want to do is you want to divide both sides by 0 0.48. All right, so you're going to have to do some long division. And so here would be 0 0.48. You see how many times does that go into 480? And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to erase this work right here. So I have to grab my eraser. Just need more room because it's a long division. All right, I'm going to move the decimal place over twice. Whatever I do here, I have to do here. So this becomes 48. Let me center it. No, I'm racing a lot. 48, and it's 4, 4, 8, 8, 0. All right, I can't take 48 and put it into 44, but I can do this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna round it. I'm gonna see how many times does 50 go into this. 50 goes into this pretty close. Uh, 450, right? 450 is divisible by 50 nine times. So I'm gonna try a nine. So I do 48 times nine. Eight times nine is 72. So 2 carry the 7. 9 times 4 
is 36. 36 plus 7 is 43. So that's pretty close without going over. That's what I want. And then you simply subtract it. This subtracts very easily. So it's 6 and then 1. Bring down the 8. Now, I would go with 4, but that's a little overboard, right? Because 4 times 40 is 160, and then you have this 4 over here, and it's going to be over. So let's try 3. So I have 48 times 3. 3 times 8 is 4. Carry the 2. 3 times 4 is 12. Plus 2 is 144. So again, I'm going to subtract. This is uh, a 4 and a 2. And then I simply bring down the 0. Now, this ends in a 0. What times this will give you 0? 5, right? Gives you the... So let's try that. Let's try a 5. Now I'm going to do my side work. I know it's, everything's bunched up, so... Uh, 5 times 8 is 40. Carry the 4. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4 is 24. Look at that. And then subtract, and so that would be 0. So the amount that you have to invest is $935 to get this um, interest in four years. And that's it.